showing up here. Um, if you guys are tuning in right now, you are in for a treat. I got some crazy people with me right now, and this is going to be a ton of fun. Um, okay, hold on one second here, guys. We're just going to, oh, we are. It looks like we are streaming live. Awesome. Hey, everybody. My name is Trevor Daly. I'm with Magmod. I am here for a, uh, we're going to do what's called editing wars. Now, editing wars is something that uh, uh, I did about five or six years ago. Matt Roberts uh, is an incredible photographer out of Santa Barbara. He came up with this idea. We were out at WPPI conference, and we had a lot of fun getting together. Basically, the, the premise behind Editing Wars is we had some people submit some images to us, uh, some photographers from the Magmod community. And we chose some of these images. We're not going to be able to get to all of them, but they're raw photos. And we're going to take those raw photos, and each one of these photographers that are with me, they're all going to edit the image at the same time. They got three minutes to do it. In fact, uh, let me just go over some of the rules really quickly here. So basically, the rules are, uh, they, I just sent them the Google Drive link, so they have all the images. They got three minutes to edit the raw photo. They can really, I told them they can use any software they want to edit, but they all said that they think they're going to stick to Lightroom. So uh, you guys, the, the, the choice is still yours if you'd like. Uh, if you finish early, don't jump into another image. Banter and trash talking is totally allowed and encouraged. Uh, any and all edits are allowed, so you can do color, you can do black and white, you can crop it however you wish. Uh, after three minutes, uh, each of you will share your edit. If everyone finishes before three minutes, let's say you all jump in there and you're done in 30 seconds, we can forfeit the remaining time. We don't need to. We don't need to make the three minutes last unless somebody wants to. And uh, and then lastly, uh, there's some really cool images in here. As you guys know, we got permission to use these from the photographers, but please don't post them on your personal stuff. This is obviously there just for entertainment and informational purposes and so forth. So with that, I am going to jump over and show everybody here. Um, Let's bring everybody up real quick on the screen. You guys look freaking amazing, first off. <laughs> I, I, love, I, love I love how we have some theme going on here. And, and, and I, I wasn't expecting this. You guys all surprised me. I love the costumes and so forth. So let's, uh, let's jump in. Why don't we start? Um, in fact, why don't I start with Joe Exotic up there in the corner? Joe Exotic, tell us who you are, where you're from, my friend. Uh, my name's Chad Winstead from uh, from North Carolina, but um, uh, I just want to say one thing. Did did you invite Carol Baskins in here? Is that Carol Baskins? I see, because we're gonna have a problem. I can't lose to Carol Baskins. Well, well let, let's let's jump over and find out. Marley, hey, all you cats and kittens out there! Gosh, I can't do this. <laughs> awesome. We have Tina the bangle today that I would love to show you. <laughs> I don't know. Beautiful. I love it. So we had, if, if you guys didn't pick it up, we got Chad Winstead from North Carolina. We got Marlise Hartman from uh, 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 Venture, not Santa Venture, Monica. Uh, Santa Monica. Perfect. Thank you. Los Angeles. Or Carol Baskin. Yeah. Carol Baskin. I like that better. <laughs> um, going along the same theme here, we got uh, we got uh, Jeff Lowe. Uh, <laughs> Go go ahead, Jared. You want to introduce yourself, Jeff? <laughs> I, I can't I can't do this with a straight face, guys. I don't know how I'm gonna make it through this. Yeah, Jared Gant, uh, out of Northern Colorado. Super excited to be here. Awesome. Thanks, Jared, for being here. Uh, <laughs> and and it's funny because, like I said, I, you guys all kind of teamed up here. Um, we do have uh, Tanya. Tanya, why don't I jump throw the mic over to you? Howdy. I don't know why I said howdy. I'm not wearing a cowboy hat. Uh, I grabbed all my photo booth stuff, and I will I be changing as we go. Uh, I love it. Yeah, I'm uh, based out of LA, Tanya Prada, and yeah, happy to with you, cool cats and kittens or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! And last but certainly not least, we have Maria Sinaratsky. Maria, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Maria Sinrodsky, and I am from New Jersey. New Jersey, Woo awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, guys, thank you so much for being here. This is going to be a lot of fun. Obviously, you guys are in the hot seat. This isn't going to be something that is necessarily easy. Uh, I, I always explain to photographers that uh, 
especially when you're getting started, um, a lot of new photographers look at work that's out there and say, wow, this is like incredible. I'm never going to look like that or whatever. And, and oftentimes it, it, there's a lot of editing that goes into images. And so that's part of like half of photography, like the shooting and the editing. And, and so while this has nothing to do with Magma necessarily, um, and uh, even though Magma is, is uh, hosting this, uh, really it's more just about just editing and kind of sharing skills and talent and, and sharing what you guys have. So with that, you guys ready to get started? Yeah. yeah. Hey, and hey, Trevor, before we jump in real quickly, we're supposed to have seven images or eight? I just want to make sure I'm on the right page. Seven. I seven. There's cool. seven in total, yeah. yeah. Um, yep. Now, like I said, we might not even get to all those. Uh, and, yep. and by the way, if, if you submitted a photo and you don't see your photo here, I apologize. I just, we, we got quite a few entries and I wasn't able to include them all, but I chose about seven images. I have a feeling we'll probably get to maybe five or so. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, how all the cats and kittens are doing out there. So um, <laughs> with, that, with that, I'm gonna get my timer ready. Um, and what I'm gonna do, you guys, and, and I talked to the group before this, so everybody knows, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, I'm gonna monitor some of the comments and things coming in. So I'll let you guys know as I see those. So if you have any comments or questions, feel free to, to ask those. Um, let's do it. There's it's streaming live currently to three sources, to the Magmod community, to the Magmod page, and to YouTube. If you're watching this on one of those, Let's, let's do all the comments on YouTube if that's possible. That would be easier for me to keep track of it. So if you're watching this on the Magmon community, jump over to YouTube channel and watch it there if that would be helpful for everybody. Um, all right, you guys ready to do this? I'm gonna get yeah. my timer yeah. ready. Don't for forget sure. to tune in to Joe Exotic TV too while you're at it. <laughs> Joe, I, I have a feeling that we might hear from Joe Exotic TV a little bit later. Uh, hold on one sec guys, I'm just starting my little timer here. A little three minute timer. Uh, so go ahead and pull up image number one, everybody. And then what I'm going to do is I will uh, choose on occasion. So so I think, Marlies, I think you're sharing your screen right now. but And that's fine. Yeah. You can certainly share it. Um, in fact, I'll jump over so everybody can kind of see what that image looks like. Uh, for those watching at home, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask uh, these people. I'm going to ask Marlies, for example, hey, Marlies, share your screen. We can kind of see what she's doing as she's editing. And then I might say, okay, Marlies, unshare your screen. Jared, share your screen. Chad, cool. share your screen. I'll kind of jump around, okay? So if you guys cool. hear me ask you to unshare it, just unshare it and we'll, we'll bring somebody else up. So this is the image. This image comes from Jesse and Maria LaPlante out of Colorado, incredible photographers. You guys have three minutes starting now. Are you gonna give us a, a countdown? Like I will. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll let you know when you have like about a minute or I'll, I'll kind of, I'll let you know like on the two minute mark, the one minute mark, 30 second mark, et cetera. Cool. So as you guys are starting to edit that, I'm gonna jump over to YouTube and pull that up so I can see what kind of comments and things are coming in. All right. So again, if you guys are watching this, uh, let me, in fact, let me just pull up everybody again real quick here. If you guys are watching this, uh, be sure to uh, jump over on the YouTube channel uh, is where I'll kind of monitor some of the comments and stuff just to have one place where it all is. Uh, so as you guys are editing, I'll just read some of these comments out. Hi, uh, Marty Grossover. I love it. I was just wondering about the tiger shirt. You know, it's funny. I wore this tiger shirt last week with Pi, and I wasn't expecting that uh, you guys would all bring your uh, your Joe Exotic A game today. I didn't even realize that. Uh, you guys, you're one minute in so far. Uh, greetings from Mexico. Hi, all. Uh, Jeff, show the fake legs. <laughs> Go fund me for Joe. Is Trevor the tiger? Yep. Hey guys, whoop whoop. Tiger King on photography. Uh, show me how you edit. I love it. So Charmy's, Charmy actually is asking, show me how you edit there. Um, excellent. So Marlise just unshared. So Jared, why don't you pop your, your share, your screen up real quick. Let's see what you're looking at. You're working on. By the way, you guys, you guys are half, halfway in right now. Minute 30 left. Fast. Yeah. yeah why is it going so fast? So Jared, as you're doing that, why don't you just tell us a little bit, it looks like you're using an adjustment brush of some kind. Yeah, just brightening up the groom a little bit. Gosh, uh, yeah, screen sharing, it's uh, killing my speed a little bit over here on Lightroom, but that's all right. And I'm going to lighten up the noise reduction just a hair and sharpen it up. We're going to go down to details. We're going to play a as little you're, bit. As you're doing that, I'm going to bump over to Joe Exotic, and uh, I just want to ask Joe what you think of, uh, of uh, Jeff's picture over there. Um, he's all right. I, um, I feel like that I'm the edit king and, uh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see it. Bring it brother. 
I'm going to put some sardine oil on this photo and I'm going to kill it. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. Uh, was, you guys got that was 30, a dig at you, Carol. Yeah, yeah, you got 30 seconds left, you guys. Oh, oh my God, that's it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's so hard. This is oh, panicking. Uh, let's see. Love this. This is close up personal. Okay. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring all of you guys up on the screen again here. Do I need a? Am I still screen sharing? Uh, no, you can you can unscreen share. Sorry. Uh, you got five seconds. Actually, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Uh, oh, that is our time. Boom. All right. All right. Uh, oh, Jared, I think I lost your, your video, boss. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah, I think your video camera turned off. Uh, let me see what happened here. When I screen shared, it uh, it totally crushed or <laughs> slowed down my Lightroom. Your video has been disabled because you're screen sharing. Let me stop. Stir, stop. Okay. Let's see, as you guys are, are pulling those up, um, go ahead and, and guys, just make it full screen. And what we'll do is we'll have each of you share your screen. Now, for those who are watching, and if you want to see these later on, we will actually get these final images, and we'll just post them in the Magmod community under one thread. Um, again, obviously, these are photos from the original photographers, but we're just going to share them so you guys can see closer up look. Um, real quickly, as, as we're just a couple more comments. Uh, let's see, are we voting on these? Actually, David, I think, I think once we post them in the community, we can kind of vote. Um, but I wouldn't mind in the comments if you guys let me know what you think is the, the winning image. Um, <laughs> is the eyebrow and ring taped to Chad's face? Uh, Victoria wants to know if that eyebrow, <laughs> what's up with the eyebrow ring there, Chad? Joe? No, nah, it's totally, totally real. It's totally real. <laughs> it's funny because every time you turn, there's just a little bit of shininess going on going right there. <laughs> All right, guys, awesome job. Uh, Marlies looks like she's still editing. I have Marlies. Marlies. Okay. No, I'm looking at everybody. I'm looking at other people's faces. Okay. <laughs> let's do this. Let's have each of you. Um, so let's start with Maria. Maria, can you share your screen? Ah, first? there we go. Yes. Give me one second. All right. Here we go. Screen share. Can you see it? Here we go. Oh. Uh, Boom. Let's see here. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to pull it up. Actually, let me do one more. Let me do one more camera angle here. Screen share. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And okay, we got it. So got it. Yep, Maria, tell us. I, and I have a feeling that some of these images, you guys, in fact, many of these images, you might all be very, very similar in in your edits. Um, but uh, but just tell us if, if, if there's something in particular that kind of stood out what you were trying to do with the photo. Okay. Um. So I saw there were the confetti like really stood out. So I wanted to also like crop in a lot around, um, but also fill them with the confetti. So I just copied most of the confetti in the spaces I wanted that would fit and just planted them in um, with also using uh, nice shading so it wouldn't fit. I mean, it would blend in nicely as well as um, sharpen it up just a bit. And I use my own preset. So I use that in there too to kind of even out the colors. Love it. Hey, Maria, let me, let me stop you for just a second. I think... As you were sharing, um, it all of a sudden turned black and white. I wasn't sure if somebody else tried to share at the same time. Is yours, is oh, yours no. black and white or color? It is color. Okay. I think whoever shared black and white, why don't, I'm going to have you unshare for a second. There we go. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> I was going to say, we're going to find out soon. So, so uh, Maria, let's have you screen share one more time. And then all this, all sorry, right. guys. I wish there was a way I could just bounce between you guys. That's all right. All right. Here we go. Boom. All right. And there it goes. Cool. Awesome. All right. So, so uh, perfect. And you, you did some sharpening, you said, and you used one of your own presets? Yep. Love it. And did a little bit of color correction. Um, I brightened the groom up a bit. And then, like I said, I just copied the confetti all around, just placed paste it in. Beautiful. Love it. Oh, you copied the confetti. You did like, a, like you kind of made it more. Oh, that was smart. Super smart. Uh, yeah, because I wanted to fill in all that negative space and just like whoop, pop them in. That was a That's great awesome. idea. Smart. That's a great idea. All right, with that, let's jump over. So, Maria, go ahead and unshare yours. And right. Tanya, let's have you do yours next. All right. Is this full screen? Do I, uh, let's see. There we go. Can you see it? Uh, no, I still see you. 
should be coming up here in a second. Let's see. Pop up, pop up. Come on. I'm not. Oh, I'm not seeing it yet. There. I think it. Here it goes. There it just it popped is. up. Cool. There it goes. So tell us what you did. Okay, so I cropped in because the floor was really distracting, and uh, I kind of did the the opposite um, of Mar what Maria did, and then. Uh, just wanted to focus more on their reaction. And then I took in some sliders with color and really popped these reds and oranges mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. it just brightened up the groom a bit. The bride was pretty, pretty spot on. This is a awesome. cool photo. Awesome. Thank you so much. That, that's perfect. Thank you. So we'll go ahead. Tanya, I'm going to have you unshare yours and let's have uh, Mr. Joe Exotic share his. All right, all right, all right. Oh, wait, wrong character. Um, <laughs> it's like a Matthew McConaughey exotic. <laughs> this is either going to be Magmod's best video or absolute worst. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> all right, I think I'm sharing the screen and I'm having some technical diff difficulties. So hold on just a second. Yeah, when I uh, just just so everyone's aware, when I did my screen sharing, it totally it totally uh, locked down my Lightroom for about. 20 seconds yeah that's, that's okay can, uh, you, can you it's like it's like that show chopped where like all of a sudden somebody puts you on pause right <laughs> all right go ahead Jack. all right are you seeing it? yep all right there we go so yeah um i'm using the uh, visual flow presets and um i'm using their uh, black and white here and i just wanted to see what it looked like in black and white and i figured everybody else was going to do color so we just rolled with it um, just like Maria, I kind of filled in up in the top right, and I ran out of time. I was trying to clean it up a little bit, but uh, it didn't really uh, didn't really clean up as well as I wanted it to. And I wanted to get rid of that shadow on his forehead there from one of mm -hmm. the confetti pieces, and mm -hmm. didn't have a chance to do that. But yeah, just a slight crop, black and white, uh, heavy clarity, and uh, that's pretty much it. Awesome, awesome, thank you, love it. All right, Chad, let's have you unshare. Let's go over to Carol Baskin. So you guys, uh, we got some people commenting that uh, you know they're all still editing. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, Mr. David Mendoza said that. <laughs> you guys know David. I love it. Shows up at full screen. It says it's loading. We'll see if it goes. All right. The only cheat. Here. The only cheater in here is Carol Baskin. <laughs> <laughs> so it won't let me load at full screen, so you guys can just have. We'll have to look at it like this in, de in the develop module. That works. I like it. So it looks Can you like, see it? yep, go ahead. Okay, so I cropped in a little bit. Um, I used the VFlow um, preset. I started with flash. Um, and then I think I still adjusted the white balance a little bit. I did a little bit of the filling in of the confetti because that really bothered me. Um, I also... There was a shadow on her chest from one of the confetti uh, that really was just irking me. So I cloned that one out pretty quickly. The one on her arm, her right arm, I also would have cloned out. And his his forehead shadow was really bugging me too, but I just didn't have time to get those. Mm -hmm. And then I burned down the ground a little bit because I agree with Tanya that it just isn't the most attractive looking so, bottom. Marlies, while you have that open, can you just hit backslash key so we can see kind of before and after? Yep. Love it. Oh, I, I see the clone right on the really dress there. Here, I'll do the reset. There you go. Mm. Love it. So yeah. it was right there on the dress that was really bugging me. Yeah. Very cool. I, I should have had all you guys do a little before after. Maybe we'll do that in the next one. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Marlise. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Who haven't we done yet? We haven't done Jared? No, yeah, let's see mine. Let's see here. <laughs> Is that working? Uh, here it comes. Yep. Cool. Yeah, so very similar to what everyone else did. I lightened up the groom and then also lightened up the bottom of the bride's dress. And then I did two radial filters. I did one uh, just with the color pop, basically all around lighting up the confetti and giving it a little bit more color. And then I did a second one with uh, just a little bit of burning just to bring down um, uh, just kind of some of the distractions on the outside there. And then I brushed in on the ground as well and, and burnt that uh, just so the grass wasn't so uh, so bright. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Jared. Appreciate you sharing that. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. Uh, did we get them all? Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. We did, right? so. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let me go ahead. And so Jared, I need to, 
It looks like, I, I think your video camera might be turning on and off, Jared. I think that's what happens. So when you have that back on, I'll get you on the screen. But um, you guys ready to jump into image number two? Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, every, every time I uh, screen share, Trevor, it turns off my camera and I have to turn it back on. So, but now that I'm aware of what's happening, I'll do that. Okay, cool. No problem. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, I, and, and by the way, I, I just want to mention, uh, if, if you had submitted an image and you don't see us use it in this contest, that doesn't mean that we won't use it in the future. Um, I, I truly, there's some uh, fun images and more than anything, I was trying to pick images that would require you guys to do a little bit of, uh, maybe a little bit of heavy work in some of them. And so... Um, so that was kind of the, the premise and some of them I thought, oh, we can, you know, maybe we'll use that in the future one. Like Jared said, this might be a total train wreck and you guys are saying, please don't ever do this again. Or you guys might say, hey, we got to do this every week and, and, uh, and we hopefully that you guys can learn from this. So, um, and, and again, I, I, I one other thing really quick please. that we can probably do this with one image the entire time. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Like we could easily be... spend 20 to 30 minutes on just one photo more how let me ask you though how how often do you spend 20 or 30 minutes on a photo oh only if it's going to be a portfolio piece so i mean we're looking at like out of images called yeah. one in a hundred out of images that are, out of images shot one in ten thousand two in ten thousand yeah. <sighs> yeah but no, this I've... is so because it gives like variety between how people use the flash modifiers and i think that's kind of cool yeah that's yeah. true. That's I don't true. I don't agree with anything that Carol says. Ay ay ay. All right, you guys ready for image number 2? Yes. yes. Let's do this. Why don't we why don't we start with Tanya? Tanya, why don't you do a screen share screen share so everybody can see what the image is and then I'll start the clock here in just a second as soon as we get Tanya's and this photo. Is, and this is Aaron's photo. That's number 2? Uh No. Nope. Or two. David's. Yeah, David's. No, I've got Aaron as number two. I yeah. have Aaron as number two. Okay. So in front, of the, in front of the sunset. Yeah. It, it okay. is this one right here. Yep. Uh, yes, Aaron. Okay. Yep. The couple holding hands, kind of looking off. Okay. You guys ready yep. to rock right. and roll? Yep. All right. Time, time Trevor, started. Yep, I can. Okay. By the way, I'm going to open the door. I hear, speaking of cats and kittens, I hear my cat making tons of noise here. All right. Put them on camera. I want to see. <laughs> I should have. Actually, uh, here's some good news for everybody. Uh, well, I don't know about for everybody, but our kitty had kittens last night or yesterday or Yay. Wednesday. Yeah. So now we have four little tiny kittens, little, little tiny kittens. Uh, okay. Let's see. I'm going to, as you guys are editing, you're about 30 seconds in. Let's just go through some of the comments. Uh, Victoria says, I love how photographers already have costumes on hand at any given time. Heck yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then, yeah, so one person did ask, usually what is your average edit time on an image or shoot? I'll answer that and then I'll let you guys uh, answer it as well. My average time that I'm editing on a image uh, is, I would say, if I were to average it out, it's probably anywhere from eight to 10 seconds. It really isn't very long. Um, and I try to do most of my editing via the keyboard. So when I'm editing, I, I will typically, um, I'm, I'm less, the, the least amount that I have to grab my mouse is, is better for me. So I have a lot of Lightroom shortcuts that I know just via my keyboard and that's, that's the way I do it. What about you guys? What's the typical time? How long does it normally take you to edit a photo? Um, are we using sync? <laughs> yeah. Like that's seconds? A, that's a, yeah. No, that's a great point. You edit one and then you sync it across. Absolutely. Um, so you guys are a minute and a half in. So I'm going to jump back over. Let's see. Uh, I, Tanya, I love your edits coming along beautifully. Let's go ahead, and Tanya. I'm going to have you unshare yours. And oh. let's have Maria share hers. I, I, need like a, I need like a chalkboard to keep track of who I'm having share and who I'm not. All right. There we go. Love it. Go a little different. I haven't seen anybody else's. Making me nervous. <laughs> you know what I you know what I found when I we did editing wars in Vegas. What was fun was in the beginning I found that a lot of the images were kind of looking similar as far as the edits go, but by the end of it, people were getting like crazy. Like we're doing like touch of color and and you know super crazy crops and all kinds of stuff. So we'll see if that uh, evolves over time here. Um, yeah. Uh, awesome. I appreciate it. you guys have 30 seconds left. Uh, a couple more comments coming oh in. Julie, 
Uh, Trevor, why didn't you do one? I, I would have, Julie, and, and I would love to participate in the future. It was more just uh, hosting and moderating and jumping between cameras and, and that kind of stuff. I knew that it was going to be kind of difficult. So uh, for that purpose, I, I didn't. But I would have loved to participate. Um, and and I, hopefully in the future, I'll be able to do that. Uh, you guys got 10 seconds. Kyle says, this is neat. Naveen says, hi. Uh, David, hide those kittens from Joe. Absolutely. You guys got four, <laughs> three, two, one. Oh, timer is up. Uh, All right. You guys ready to show your images? <sighs> Hands up. Yeah. Hands up. No one editing. <laughs> well, I'm still screen sharing. I don't know if you can see it or not. I, actually, Maria, let's just leave it up if that's cool. Let's let's leave yours okay. up and we'll we'll start with okay. yours as far as the screen share goes. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. So uh, Maria, why don't you tell us about your image here? That uh, so again, this image is from Aaron Tremblay. Aaron Tremblay is an amazing photographer out in Tucson. He also happens to be the man behind the magic from all the MagMod videos. He does the, all, all the editing and so forth. So uh, we appreciate Aaron loaning us this image. Go ahead, Maria. All right, so I wanted to crop it in because the ground to me was a little bit distracting mm -hmm. um, and with having a three minute time limit. So I just wanted to just cut it in. Um, also the bride is like super well lit. Uh, so I liked her side of the image and I wanted to keep it um, evenly weighted so that's why i kept the negative space to the left and i just uh lightened up the groom i also took away some of the brake lights and the car so before and after Ooh, i like that thank you so much and yeah let's do exactly what maria did there where we just do kind of a before and after for each one of you guys awesome thank you so much maria. So I'll, have you, I'll have you <laughs> i love it i'll have you unshare now <laughs> and uh who would like to go next i can awesome Let's do this. All right. Screen share. Is it uh, pulled up? Yep. There it is. Cool, cool. So I started out with uh, develops Emerone preset, and then I played a lot with the HSL in this one where I was cleaning up the, the color of, of the couple's skin and playing with the sky color. Did the same thing where I did a tight crop just to maybe if I had more time, I would have cleaned up the ground, but I didn't want to spend a lot of time working on the ground, so did a tighter crop. I like the center composition on this since the sky, since the kind of open space in the sky had them centered in that. So that's what I did there. Um, a little bit of softening and brightening on both of their skin. And um, uh, yeah, and then I, I burnt down the background and cloned out those few cars that were in the background. Awesome. Can you show us the before and after as well? Yeah, let's do this. Let's see here. Uh, well, the before is not showing the crop, but there's the, yeah. the coloring. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Excellent. Who would like to go next? Should we jump over to all oh, Carol Baskin? All right. Okay. Hold on. Can you guys see it? Uh, there it comes. Yep. You got oh. it. Uh, so I also so, did a similar. Yeah, I was gonna gonna say say a, yeah, I was going to say it's a similar crop to Jared's. It's a similar crop. I actually did. Uh, uh, hold on. You can see that I tried burning down the. If I uncrop it, I tried burning down the 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 dirt path, mm -hmm. but I didn't like it, and I didn't like the shadowing at the bottom of the dress, so I ended up cropping it in. Like um, I did a little bit of dodging on the faces. I used the Develop um, Davina and Daniel punch brush, which uh, let's see if I have it. It's called I think it's called the D yeah D and D punch, and I put that on the sky just to bring out the sky a little bit. Um, and then I also just got rid of those little like car lights in the background. So that would be, and I, and I fixed, oh, I also used, uh, the V flow. I think I used soft light for this one as a base and that's the before and that's the after. Love it. Thank you so much. Excellent. How about, uh, let's see again, we got Maria. Okay. So we haven't done Chad yet. Chad, let's do yours. Chad and Tanya. All right. Thank you, Marlies. Okay. Can you see that okay? Yep. You're supposed to be done, Chad. All right. <laughs> I, what? <laughs> <laughs> I went with the Visual Flow Flash preset, and <laughs> I did not crop out the ground. I burned down the highlights of the ground using the Visual Flow Burn Highlights brush. And then I used my little custom punch brush over the sky, uh, dodged just a tiny bit around the groom to kind of bring out his hand and his jacket just a little bit more and dodged over the bow tie just a hair and cleaned up a little few pieces on the ground and I think that was it. 
I ran out of time. I love it. I love it. I love how each one of you is taking the same image and every single yep. edit is just a little bit different. Yeah. Trevor, is I'll it build. to say that there was a green gel used in this shot? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Am I still sharing screen? You are. Yeah. I was going to show the before and after real quick. I forgot to do that. So I uh, also cleaned up the car and those little lights. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So I would say, uh, Marlies, I would, I would, I would say that Aaron did probably use a green gel on the couple. Um, it, Chad, can you show it before real quick one more time? Um, oh. you can kind of hold on. Cause you can, you can yeah, look at, go ahead. I was going to say, check out the white balance, like with the tent there. Yeah. Being, uh, plus 52. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, yeah. And I, I actually love doing that, especially when I see any kind of magenta in the sky. I'll just throw a little no, half, no. half plus All screen right. on, on the flash and, and add that, you know, to their color, tin tone, color, color skin tone so that I can then either push it in Lightroom or push it in my, my camera. So <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Chad. Appreciate that, man. Um, let's go ahead and jump over to Tanya. Tanya, can you share your screen as well? Sure thing. Okay. Can you see this one? Yep, we got it. Okay, so I think I did the same thing um, as Jared and Marlise, by cropping in, getting rid of the lights, um, burning down all the black areas, and then dodging and bringing them up. And then, yeah, just changing the, making sure that the skin tone looked pretty good, and then popping this guy. I love it. I love it. It's, it, um, it, it can show us before and after. Oh, yeah, hold on. Do -do -do. And you can just do what the backslash. The backslash back key? Back. Yeah. Back. Oh, no. Not oh. under the question mark, under the separator. It's right above the return button. Yeah. It'll show your before and after. There, there you go. go. Awesome. Ooh, I love that. Nice. So again, we won't pick a winner right now, um, unless uh, Joe and Carol want to fight it out. Uh, but <laughs> But but we will uh, we'll share these images later on in the thread, and you guys can all kind of look at close, and you can choose what you think is uh, you think would be a the, the the favorite edit. Because I know sometimes when these are live, the stream doesn't show you as clear. So um, awesome job! I, I do want to just point out that occasionally I looked over and I've seen Jared just kind of playing with the tiger. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is Lily over here. She's my favorite. <laughs> it's just on occasion, I'll just kind of glance over and I see Jared over there, just just having fun with the tiger. Oh my God. So if he wants to spend his time editing, then go for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap, crackle pop. Mm. All, right. All right, you guys ready for image three? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. so let's start this one. Uh, who hasn't shared their screen yet? Have we got everyone already? Chad, have you shared your screen yet? I don't think I have. I'll start it off. Let's, yeah, let's start with you. Let's go ahead and have you share your screen. You can show everyone what the image is. All Make right. Sure we're all on the uh, same page. So we got cool. a photo. This, so, this image comes from David Mendoza uh, from California. Uh, beautiful shot. You guys all have the same one? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. All right, guys. Timer starts now. All right. Ooh. So I'm going to try my super secret sauce here. Ooh, record this, people. <laughs> All right. Brighten it up just a hair. Chad, what was your Drop super secret sauce? Just a hair. I can't tell you. It's my super <laughs> secret sauce. Super it's mixed super. with tiger mixed with tiger blood and the hopes and dreams of Carol Baskins. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Crazy. So I am going to do something a little cool here. Don't tell them. Uh, let's see. We're just gonna do got, this. Uh, Marissa Daly says uh, Chad's true accent is finally coming out. Southerners for life. <laughs> she she knows all about that North Carolina twang. <laughs> uh, and actually, um, David Mendoza had just said that he made this image the main one on his website. If anyone wants to see his full edit with this photo, oh, uh, David, if you could just let us know uh, what your website is um we'll uh we can have everyone go check that out as well so you guys got uh minute 50 left David Mendoza, I, I, oh I, my I, god i'm not ready for this one man. I, I, Crap. what is it david mendoza i i i because he's the third 
Oh, I got you. David Mendoza, the third.com. Okay, cool. Excellent. Uh, thank you, Chad, for sharing your image. Uh, go ahead and unshare. All you guys right. got a minute, minute and a half left. Marlies, why don't I have you share next? Let me get a second. I think, I think we're back to the beginning of the line here. Cool. I'm just putting a um, gradient filter just to bring out the color right there. Um, I'm really bugged by this hot spot right there. I really want the brightest spot in the photo to be the face and not the hair. So I'm trying to work on that okay. with a brush. So let me just see if. So you're zooming in, you're trying to bring that down a little bit. Oh, yeah, without completely killing them. And then I'll probably bring up their faces. I might even try a radial filter. Let's try that and see how that works. Okay. You guys got 40 seconds left. 40 seconds. Ah! Go away. Stop the time. <laughs> By the way, if, if 30 seconds. Have you guys ever, when you're editing, do you ever set yourself like a time limit and say, okay, I'm going to get these 100 images done in the next, you know, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. Do you guys ever do that kind of stuff I for yourself? I found that I it helps that. if you can say, like, I'm going to do all of the ceremony in 20 minutes. I'm going to get the groom prep done in 20 minutes so that at least it's, like, for 30 minutes yeah. or before this yeah. episode of Friends is over. <laughs> do you guys like to edit uh, watching shows, like on Netflix? It has oh, to be yeah. I've already seen. Only, only Mine Tiger has to King. be Bob's Burgers. <laughs> time's up, you guys. Time's up. Oh. Hands up. Put your editing oh. pencils down. <laughs> I love it. All right. Who? Would, well, actually, Marley, since you had your image up, would you mind just sharing yours first? Oh, sure. I gotta bring you back. Kevin, yeah. I already slapped some sardine oil on there. I killed it. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> uh, so again, I use the VFlow. Um, I started with the VFlow Flash preset. Mm -hmm. Uh, from there, I tried to burn down this, uh, and I overburned it, so it's a little like grayed out right there. But um, I'd probably go back and fix that. I also added in a gradient filter at the top to sort of bring in those colors. Um, I really like purple. You can't tell. <laughs> and uh, and animal print. I also really like animal print. Uh, so I wanted to sort of bring in that purple color. Uh, I then did a radial filter around their faces to kind of make their faces the brightest spot. Uh, and I think that was pretty much it. I didn't do too much with the uh, um, color balance or anything like that. But here's the before. Oh, hold on. Let me click on it. There's the before. And there is the after. Awesome. Nice work. Mm. Wonderful. Thank you so let, much, Marlies. Yep. Let me let me go let me go next. Oh mm. man. Someone's confident. <laughs> All right. I'm sharing my screen now. Can you guys see this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I started off with that super secret sauce I told you with some tiger blood and maybe some sardine oil. Um I dodged over our couple a little bit and brought out some of the shadows. I went back in and burned the highlights here where the hot spots were. Uh, and then I came in and added some nice blue, uh, some blue color shifts up in the ceiling there. Uh, I added a little bit of lipstick on for her to bring out some color in her lips again. And I uh, cropped in just slightly, burned out that highlight on the left-hand side. And there you have it. The editing king himself. <laughs> all right here yeah, is your voice I'll, I'll, that whole oh man i can't handle this <laughs> I'll, I'll show you guys the before and the after and you know just let it let it sit let it soak in let it marinate in that let order. it marinate <laughs> sorry, you know it. oh man I, I you know when you smile so much your cheeks start to hurt that's that's, yep. that's happening to me right now oh let's go over to tanya can we see yours image yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, this is too funny. I went with black and white, um, brought down, burned down these highlights, brought up their face, uh, brought up some of the lights, and then burned down the sides. Uh, that was about it. I love it. Oop, I love it. Now I just I cropped off their hands. <gasps> Bad mistake. Oops. That's okay. Yeah. Well, I think you, you're deducted 20 points for that. 
sure. As long as the tiger didn't bite it off, you're good. <laughs> Actually, I thought you get bonus points if that happens. Oh, did you want to see the before and after? Is that uh, sure? Okay. Sure. Nice. I love it. Thank you so much, Tanya. I think uh, yeah. Joe Exotic, going back to what you're saying about the tiger biting it off, as long as you get back to work in seven days. As long as you get right back to work, then. Yes, I I thought I was never going to financially recover from that, but you know. <laughs> oh man! All right. <laughs> By the way, I I hope I I hope everybody's seen uh, Joe Exotic so far on on Netflix. If you haven't, it's the number one rated show on Netflix. It's pretty hilarious. Uh, as a documentary, it's very very entertaining. So. And there's uh, a bonus episode, April twelfth. They're 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 dropping the bonus one. Ooh, nice. Ooh. So there's a, there's a lot of references being said here in this chat, which again I was not expecting, um, and and you guys are <laughs> cracking me up. So all right, Maria, let's see your image. All right, let's see, let's see. All right, let's go. All right, so I did a black and white, and I did my base was my developed two man Jaeger bomb. Um, mm. I cropped in a little bit. Um, I kept their hands. Sorry. Um, and, uh, uh, and I even, I evened out the darkness of his jacket, um, mm. and just like mirrored it on her side, but kept a little bit of the chair so you could still see, uh, she was sitting just not on nothing that you have an image in your head. Um, I brought up their faces and burned the middle a little bit. And darken the top just a wee bit, just so you can just see the little speckled light. That's about it. Awesome. Can you see before and after? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Boop. Before mm. and after. Love it. Thank you so much. All right. And last no but not least. You ready? Yep. Jared, the simple review. Uh, screen share. Jared, did you not have an Affliction t-shirt? <laughs> an Affliction t-shirt? I, I guess not. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I actually did crop in and maybe this was a bad move. I don't know, but I was actually distracted by their hands. I wanted to see their lips and their faces snuggling. I thought that's where I wanted my attention. So I cropped in a little bit tighter on that. Same thing, uh, uh, dodged in on her face and killed out some of those highlights in that, uh, in that negative space between the two of them. And then in the, the rafters of the area above them, I dropped the shadows, increased the highlights just to draw attention to the lights and um, added just a little bit of uh, blue there as well, cooled it off just a teeny bit. Um, I burnt down the back of the bride's chair to again mirror the groom's chair so that it kind of had similar, um, kind of a similar appearance there. And, and that was about it. Uh, I did a little bit of uh, noise reduction as well. Mm. Nice. Can mm -hmm. we see a little before and after? Yep. Let's see here. So there's before, there's after. Love it. Cool. Thank you so much. All right. Do we get everybody? I think, I think we got so. everybody, right? Cool. Hey, so I, I got to ask you guys, doing this as you're going along, do you feel added pressure? Because, uh, I mean, three minutes should be enough time for most of these types of things, right? But do you guys feel like it's added pressure, like it kind of makes you uh, nervous, you know, that you're going to finish in time? Oh my God. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. I yeah. think I don't like being under pressure and like in the thought of people, like you don't know how many people are watching you too. Like uh -huh. I know at one point when like I was screen sharing my stuff, I just like kind of like had a flat line in my head and I was just like, Oh, I forget what I was going to do. And I like hovered and clicked on like three things. And I was like, am I using this? No, wait, no, no, no. I didn't want to use that. I don't know why I did that. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm really excited. Well, we get to learn from everybody. So I have like four different people here who are awesome at what they do. And then like learning and seeing their perspective on it is making me like think a lot about my editing style and what I could do with the possibilities. It's awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I'm i I'm a used to the spotlight, you know, every, every night I'm on TV and, uh, you know, I have 70 to 80 viewers at a time and I'm just, I'm used to it. So it, it Wait, how, how do you feel about that, Carol? Well, 70 to 80 viewers is nothing on my 70 to 80 million views per YouTube video that I post. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You guys are too funny. Ah. Chad, have right. you seen anything to this? I want to hear a song. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, yes, Chad. I, I think Chad does have a, a special presentation for everyone. Well, I, 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 feel, what? I feel. Oh, you want to hear, hear something? 
I feel like we're about halftime. So, yeah, I, I mean, let's, uh, if you got something oh, special. Well, you know, I mean, I just happen to have this guitar here. You turn, know, turn your camera on. Uh, maybe, just maybe, if my, wait, my camera's not on? Yeah, it's on. I got you. It is? Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Well, now I'm getting a little nervous, you know. Um, anyway, um, I guess we can play you a song. And, uh, you know, once I get to the course, I want you guys to I want you guys to sing along. OK, I want you guys to sing along with me and just really feel, feel it. Right? Let's get into it, Trevor. <laughs> Tell all the hunters to lay down their guns. Oh my <laughs> Tell them that a tiger needs a little bit of love. <laughs> Let, them roam their Let them roam their lands. And step back and marvel what a beautiful cat. <laughs> yes, I saw a tiger. Now I understand I saw a tiger In the tiger song, man Everybody, come on Cause I saw a tiger Now I understand Cause I saw a tiger In the tiger song, man I had my, I had my lighter going for you, my virtual lighter That was, that was amazing you. I, wow. I actually, for, for a minute there, I could swear, I'm like, I'm like, Beth must be hitting a button to play. But you were actually <laughs> playing that. That was amazing. Oh. <laughs> Such a great oh, voice. Man. Joe is a man of many talents. <laughs> and, for real, look at that. <laughs> and and for, those, for those who don't know, Joe here actually shaved for, for this show, which is amazing. I, oh, yeah. The commitment. Hi, right? this is all real. This is all real, man. I don't know. He probably said something about putting on a fake mustache. No, this is this is real. Oh gosh, my tears, my cheeks, everything hurts. Okay. <laughs> so good. Um. All right, yeah. back to the regularly scheduled program. Let's do it. That was that was amazing. Uh, Jorge's laughing. Shannon's laughing. Everyone's having a good time. All right, cool. Sean says he has his lighter lit. He's ready to rock and roll. Um, fantastic. We ready to go on the next one? Which one are we yeah. on now? The uh, pink one. one. Juan Esteban. Juan Esteban. Juan yeah. Esteban. Yep. So we got uh, Juan, also incredible photographer. He actually was on a, uh, a live chat on the Magma community in Spanish recently. So uh, oh, we awesome. appreciate appreciate Juan bringing his uh, his photo over. So let's. You guys ready to start? Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, who would like to start us off? Uh, can show us the image. Uh, I can. If, well, has everyone done it? Are we starting? Uh, I started. Yeah, I've, one. I've started. Oh. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah, go ahead. Jared, we'll have, we'll have yours. You want me to do it? Yeah, okay. sure. Thanks. Yep, yep. All right. Just starting here. So the first thing I'm going to do is crop this. Yeah. Oh, man. You guys are too much. <laughs> right. No joke. All right. So it looks like... Ooh, I see what you're doing there, Jared. Oh, you see that, huh? Let's see here. <laughs> All right, let's now bring this over. As you guys are doing that, I'm going to jump over and just make sure I'm not missing anything over in the Maglog community. Uh, we're about 30 seconds in so far, you guys. <laughs> uh, JD actually posted the I saw a tiger uh, gif. Um, <laughs> that's oh, yes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Page and YouTube. Sorry, I'm actually 
sending a quick message to everybody in the community. We got a few people watching over there. Just want to let everyone know that we are monitoring. I can't, I can't, unfortunately, I can't monitor the uh, comments everywhere. So I'm just kind of monitoring on the YouTube channel. Um, I see uh, we're about a minute and a half in. Uh, Jared, I'm going oh. to have you unshare. All right. And, and let's have, uh, let's have Chad. Why don't I, uh, yeah, Chad, why don't you share? We'll have All you right. the last minute here. So hopefully you can see this. I'm trying to eliminate this highlight right here. Okay. My computer is bogging down now that I'm sharing. Hold on. Okay. Yikes. Oh, come on. Stop bogging down. We don't get great Wi-Fi here out on the ranch. <laughs> Uh, let's see. If you guys are doing that, I'm just going to look at a few more of these comments. Uh, Jason Batch says, tears. I wish I had a soft tiger to hold right now. Great performance. Uh, Don says, wow, thank you for that. Ray says, highlight of the week. Uh, Je <laughs> Jesse says, am I the only one who doesn't use Lightroom? So actually, Jesse, uh, you need to use Lightroom, my friend. It's an amazing program. But uh, certainly, I mean, I, I would be curious, Jesse, which you edit with, if it's, if it's Photoshop or if it's Capture One. Um, I think he edits know. with uh, Photoshop Camera Raw. Yeah, he used Camera Raw gotcha. for, my, for my memory. Yep. You guys got about five seconds left. What? Oh, no. I'll, t I'll tell no. you what. I'll, I'll give you 15 seconds. I'll give you 15 seconds because I wasn't really counting it down for you guys. So take another 15 seconds. Close out your shot there. All right. Closing out. Actually, Chad, I'm going to have you keep yours up, though. So we'll, we'll talk oh, about yours first. I'll, Sorry about all that. All right. I'll bring it back up. Uh, Wes, Wes says, I can't unsee the wig. Uh, this is hilarious. Hi from Guatemala. Uh, Andrew asked, will these be available afterwards? So Andrew, the video will be available. Um, and then we'll also, the photos we will put in the thread, uh, likely in the Magma community, just so it's a private area. Uh, I shouldn't say private, but it's an area that's a little bit more controlled. Um, Bryn, uh, oh, <laughs> oh my God, Chad. Uh, loving the Jeff look, uh, Jeff will look. Awesome. Okay, cool. So uh, in other words, uh, what I was reading there, uh, Jared, was that your wife is loving the Jeff Lowe look. So you might want to, you know. Head downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, so with that, <laughs> okay, let's go, Chad. Tell us about your shot. All right. So I started off with, the, uh, with my Super Secret Sauce version two. Um, you can thank Pi for this. Uh, this is actually a pie super secret sauce with my tweak on it. And uh, it's from the Visual Flow upcoming pack, the punch uh -huh. pack. Um, so I came in and shifted the white balance down a little bit, brought out the blues a little bit more, and then eliminated. I've really lost the accent. It's starting to, it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's been some work, people. All right. And I tried to eliminate that highlight around her hair from the uh, from the flash modifier. It looked like a mag sphere. Mm -hmm. uh, so I came in and cloned that the best I could in Lightroom and brightened up her dress down here at the bottom a little bit and kept some of the magenta tone that I love so much and brought in a little bit more blue around the outside as well and obviously awesome. cropped it. So this was the before. Um, actually, let me hit reset here. So that's the before. And then, hold on. My undo and redo is not working. You just hit reset. Uh, there we go. Yeah. All right. I, I don't know how to use Lightroom. This is my first time. <laughs> no, I love it. Keep, keep it up there for just a second, Chad. I'm curious, what, what do you guys think? Um, yesterday, we did a How I Shot It, where we had seven photographers on. They shared a photo, uh, and we all tried to dissect how it was lit. How do you mm -hmm. think? Juan's not here to tell us for sure, but what do you guys think he used to light this? I'd guess the box so, overhead is would be my guess. I was thinking Max Sphere because of that reflection. Yep, I think it's Max oh yeah, yeah, good call, good call. Yes, yes directly overhead. Yeah. And we still, there's a bit more spill on the curtains and the floor. Do you, think, and do you, do you think a, a magenta gel was used behind, just laying down on the ground? Yes. Yeah, it's, lay, it's, yes. it's laying down on the ground due to that hard shadow you see kind of on the right hand side there. Yeah. And it's probably a sphere on that too because of the way it's filling everywhere. Mm-hmm. Although cool. that shadow is kind of hard, so never definitely mind. Definitely assistant, I, I think, was used. Uh, I definitely think. Can you guys hear me? I think I just yeah. lost you. No, we hear you. Yeah, we, we hear you. No. So. Awesome. Hey, Chad, you can actually unfreeze or unshare your image. 
want to go next. Okay, Marlies, you want to go next? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, wait, now it's doing, I went into full screen and now it's being weird. Hold on. Oh, we lost you exotic. Go. I'm sure you'll come back and join us here. in a second. Can you see it? Yep. Got yeah. it. Okay. So as you can tell, I cropped in quite a bit. Um, I really wanted to highlight the light that was shining down onto her face. I kind of felt like it had this sort of like ethereal feeling. Uh, so I used gradient filters on the sides to sort of um, tone down the bright pink around her. Cause again, I wanted the highlight to sort of be her face. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used a radial filter then to also sort of highlight her face. I used a skin softening uh, brush on her face to sort of soften that, that, you know, her skin was already great, but I made it even just a little bit softer. Um, I think that was pretty much it. Do you guys want to see the before? Oh, and I fixed that light behind her. That was really important to me. I would go back in Photoshop and probably make that even cleaner, but considering we could only mm -hmm. use Lightroom, I just really didn't want that distracting highlight behind her. Gotcha. Love it. So, can I go next? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Marlies. Hold on. I got to figure out how to, and share there we go all right. all right so i actually did a similar crop like marley's did and cropped in tight too um i cut off a little bit of the flowers and gave a little bit more of the sky um because i really wanted to highlight a little bit more of the sky and darken the um Sides of the curtains. I took out a little bit of the uh, flash too, like Marley's did. Uh, same thing. If I had a little bit more time, I would have cleaned it up. Um, and that's pretty much it. I love it. I love. I, again, I just love seeing all the difference. Every single one of these images. If I were one, I would be like, "Oh man, that's a great edit right there. That's a great edit. I could use that on my web or whatever." So so good. Can I see the before and after real quick? Oh yeah. Sorry. Oh, no, I don't know. Uh, let me do the same thing. Lisa. And then. Love it. So before and after. Whoop. Nice. So good. So good. So good. Thank you so much. It looks like Chad's having a hard time getting back in. Maybe I should try to. Uh, is there a way I can add him? I'm guessing, I'm guessing the feds just got him. <laughs> 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 about dark time uh let's see chad if you're listening boss i i just uh called you up on skype hopefully you you see that there all right um excellent jared i got you on the screen why don't you have you go, have you go next all right let's screen share this all right here is my image so pretty similar to everyone else i did a vertical crop i kind of adjusted the uh lens correction just a little bit just to straighten out the the uh, window um I added a bunch of magenta onto the curtain so it was even and dropped the luminance on the blues to darken the sky behind her um, and then just brushed a little bit on her face to soften the skin and to drop down some of the high, like the super shiny highlights. And then on her dress, I just killed some of the saturation just a little bit to give it a little truer white color. I love that. I love your, your colors are very punchy. They really stand out. Um, super unique. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. Look. Awesome, awesome. So what do we got? We have Marlies. Uh, Tanya, should we go to you next? So I kind of did the same as Maria uh, with black and white. Um, and hold on. So hold on. How do I get rid of those little? Anyway. Um, so, yeah. So I felt it kind of had that ethereal look as well, kind of that uh, cathedral church type of window light. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, I, I, sometimes I like having a lot of negative space because I feel like it does draw in the eye. So I just uh, brought up her bouquet and burned some of the, the sky, took out that flash like everybody else did, and yeah, that's about it. Oh, used a, a two-man Jager bomb. That's my favorite black and white. Yes, awesome. Colleen, me too. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. Those are fantastic, you guys. Um, Let me try get out of here. Let's see here. I'm going to pull all you up again real quick. Uh, and just real fast, you guys, we had uh, – Jared, I, I need your camera again if you can add us. Yeah. Did it not uh... – Yeah, I didn't take um, – 
I would love if you guys can have, we have a question from the blessed 413 says, can you tell me the names and websites of the five photographers, please? So uh, why don't I just call on your name and why don't you guys just tell everyone where to find you, uh, your full name and where to find you. So Jared, we'll start with you. Yeah, Jared Gant. You can find me at jmgantphotography.com or jmgantphotography on any social platform. Thanks. Tanya? Uh, Tanya Parada. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Parada Studio and online paradastudio.com. Awesome. Thank you, Maria. I am Lens Shark Photography, um, and you can find me at lenssharkphotography.com or on Instagram, Lens Shark Photography, um, and it's L E N S S H A R K. That's a little confusing sometimes. You got the double S. You got it. Double cool. F. <laughs> awesome. Marlies? Yep. My name's Marlies Hartman, M A R L I E S. Hartman has two N's. Uh, my website's mhartphoto.com. Heart is spelled H A R T. And my Instagram is m.heartphotography. Wonderful. Thank you. You can also okay. find me at all you cool cats and kittens.com. Uh, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> All right. And uh, Mr. Joe Exotic himself, can you tell everyone uh, where to find you? Yeah. So Chad Winstead, a.k.a. hashtag Chad Exotic. Uh, you can find me at <laughs> www.chadwinstead.com. Um, and social media, Instagram, Chad Winstead Photo. Uh, and YouTube at Joe Exotic TV. Nice. If, any, if anyone is watching this, uh, please do not go to Joe or chat exotic dot com. I don't know what you're going to pull up. Yeah, don't go, don't Google that. Do not recommend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, guys, I think what have we done? Four images so far. Um, Let's do it. Yeah. We don't we don't have to do all of them. Like I said, I picked out a, a number of them, but. Uh, uh, actually, Pi is asking, this is amazing, do we get to vote on their edits? Yes. So Pi, what we're going to do is, is when we are finished, we'll have them upload their edits all in the thread, and let's do it in the MagMod community. Um, and what we'll do is uh, I'll, I'll say image number one, and I'll put the, the original there, uh, the unedited shot, and then we'll have all of their edits underneath it, okay? And then we'll let everyone vote from there. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Let's do image number six, I guess it is, because I didn't know how to count, and I forgot to add a five in there. So cool. Im image number six, um, let's start with uh, uh, Tanya. Would you mind starting off our edits this time? This is the girl with the with this, uh, backlight, right? Allison, uh, Allison McCafferty. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Is this one? That's the one. Yep. Cool. All right. All right, so you guys have three minutes starting now. Boom. Okay, let's do this. I love this image, by the way. Yeah, yeah this, this is, killer. is fantastic. This is killer. Just like Carol Baskins. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. He needs to get out more. Ah, my screen is frozen. No. What's going on? Actually, Joe, Mr. Joe Exotic himself got kicked out there for a minute, found his way back in. It's that freaking Carol. She hacked my computer. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's scared of me. <laughs> she is. Oh, man. Let's see. Yeah, somebody's asking Pi to join our next challenge. We certainly can have Pi on here for sure. Pi would be amazing at it. Uh, I'm just looking through some of the comments. Yes, Chaz, this is very cool, Trevor. Uh, so Ramita saying he's liking it. Uh, I'm, I'm in love with Joe. Uh, that lipstick edit was something else I've never seen before. Very interesting. Uh, okay. Awesome. Tanya saying, seeing you guys in your costumes completely made her weak. Uh, <laughs> Shivani says Chad might virtually steal and sell your cat and kittens. Don't put them on. Oh wait, a camera? Oh, she, oh, I think Shivani's talking about my cats and kittens. So I actually, uh, Shivani, I, I got uh, our little cat had uh, little baby kittens, little four little kittens. They're tiny little things right now. We haven't even touched them. So, how are you guys doing? You got a minute and a half left, you guys. Do this. I'm slow. So Tanya, I'm gonna have you unshare for a second. 
And uh, is there anyone that would like to share? Actually, I just like, I, you know what I'm going to do right now? You guys keep editing. I'm just going to, for the next minute, I'm just going to go to each of your faces. Uh, and so I can see the concentration <laughs> happening. Marlise is using her hand to like fill the, the light. I, I think she's trying to create some kind of visor of sorts. We got Jared is. I, screen like the, the natural light's great for when we're chatting, but not great for when I'm editing. Ah, gotcha. We got Jared. Jared looks like he's editing with one hand, cuddling the tiger with the other hand. Apparently. That's right. Uh, Joe Exotic, your eyes look amazing. You, you look like you have a skin softener filter on your camera right now. And then it's just a good skincare regimen. Yeah. <laughs> Maria looks very, very concentrated. And Tanya looks like she's going to pass out. You, you look like you're bouncing. You. you look like you're bouncing, <laughs> bouncing between two different screens or something. It looks like you're doing awesome. We're almost done, guys. Ten seconds. You guys don't get the extra 15 <laughs> seconds this time. Okay. Oh, that's mean. All right. Yeah, Pai saying, look at all their faces. Shannon saying, really beautiful. Oh, timer's up. Hands in the air. I got one. One's holding a dog. <laughs> all right. Just, we'll, make, we'll make this a little bit quicker this time. So why don't we... Uh, let's, let's I can start. start. With, you want? Okay. Yeah, Jared, go ahead. All right. Uh, okay, here it is. I started, is, is it showing up? Uh, yeah. Not, oh, there it is, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, got cool. it. So of course, cloned out the light stand. I dropped my blacks pretty heavily and uh, start, started out with the Amarone preset and then just did a little bit of skin correction to, to take out some of the orange on her skin uh, and, and to reduce some of the contrast on her skin. Um, and that was it. It was pretty pretty simple, clean shot. I liked it a lot. Nice, can I see a before and after real quick? Yep, it's there. Did a little bit of cropping. So there's before, here's after. Nice, love wow. it. Thank you so much. Oh, I love it. I'll go next. Excellent. All right, Maria. Okay, so I have a big love of white um, and I stuck with that. And I actually just wanted to have her pop out more. So mm -hmm. I, completely darkened everything and just kept her um lately in my on my instagram i've been doing a lot of hard lip black and whites with my animals and i love that and saw that in that and i kept it and again i used the jaeger bomb uh two man develop preset and that was pretty much it i love that so uh maria i think yep. in the last at least the last three images i can't remember if it was even before that you've done black and white is that kind of like one of your big go-to's do you like using black and white a lot I do. I do. I actually started out um, with film photography and it wasn't until I was in college. My professor in my film class was like, you're not going to survive in film. So I switched to digital, but my heart always lies with black and white film and being in there developing it. That's awesome. Very nice. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, who would like to go next? Let's go over to you, Tanya. Tanya, <laughs> you changed up the glasses on us. Were the other were the other glasses and nose not not cutting it? <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't breathe after a while. <laughs> um, let's see. Sorry. Uh, start sharing. Sweet. Yep. Okay, so I used the. Um, nah, this always happens. So I used the Amarone as well, and then I used the Visual Flow Sun Flare to kind of bring out. A little bit more of uh, that um, uh, fun set that they were doing um, that uh, Marlise is known for. She's the queen of that. Um, and then, yeah, brought a little bit of, I should have done more of the, the skin toning, but yeah, that's it. I love First that. Now, I will say, I've heard a few of you ha have mentioned the Amarones, the visual flow, things like that. Do a lot of you use the uh, uh, develop presets? Is that pretty common? Yes. Yep. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Oh, Jared left. He's like, I'm out. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Sorry. I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jared, I was just asking, I, I've seen a lot of uh, the develop presets, the visual flow and the the different ones. Do you guys, is, is that kind of across the board? A lot of you guys are using that. Is there any other presets that you guys typically use? 
Yeah, so the visual flow and the develop um, two man are the my two go tos. I, I love with the visual flow in particularly. I love the uh, touch up brushes. Phenomenal. Awesome. I yeah. my color. I actually made myself. Um, mm -hmm. That's it. But I used my. I always use uh, either Espresso or Jaeger Bomb uh, two man develop. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Thank Jaeger you. Bomb is delicious. <laughs> you know it's Hopefully. funny. When you both ways. Let's go both ways with that one. <laughs> Actually, Shannon Kane had mentioned the same thing. She loves the Air Mom one. Uh, let's go, uh, Mr. Joe Exotic. You want to share your screen? All right. Let's see here. All right. Can you see that? Ooh, pretty. Ooh. All right. So I used the uh, super secret sauce. Um, I enhanced the flare instead of eliminating over on the right-hand side and actually... This is a, a develop tweaks and leaks or whatever you call They're it. Doing, uh, funny. So Drive by. You'll see I did quite a few brushes. Well, a couple of brushes. I did red lipstick on her uh, lips. I did the uh, the tweak and leak or whatever you call it and went very heavy on the magenta because of this magenta gel by her hair there. Um, other than that, I really didn't touch it other than I did do a lot of touching up. You'll see I had a lot of little wow. spot removals I did really, really quickly. Um, you can see it kind of messed up right here in her hair. Uh, just ran out of time. Uh, overall, I didn't touch the exposure or anything off of my preset because the base image was, was fire. Oops, I just hovered over something. Um, so, yeah, let me do a little before and after. Oh, and took out the light stand, of course. So. What did I do to my exposure right there? I don't. There we go. Yeah. All right. Before, after. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Where are we at? I right. lost track. Let me open uh, this. Marlise right. is. I mean, I mean that damn Carol. I mean darn Carol basket. Ay ay ay. All right. Marlise, the mic is yours. Can you see it? Oh. Yes. So, I was oh, you think you the, fancy. I was getting the bizarre <laughs> vibes from this. You know, I liked the little shoulder that she had popping, so I thought that I would just sort of accentuate the lips, and I liked the color of the lips, the hair, and the shoulder. So, um, and I kind of was hoping that nobody else would think of this, so I wanted to do something different, so I cropped in a bit. Um, I used a V-Flow preset. I think it was the V-Flow flash preset to start. Uh, I then added, let's see if I, I think I added some brushes. Uh, yeah, this one I used um, just to sort of bring the flare down. I did get rid of the light stand. Um, and then I also used a gradient filter over here um, just to bring up the, the shadows on the right side just so you had a little more detail in those shadows. Um, and that was about it. I felt like this one was already pretty awesome, so I didn't want to do too much to it. But uh, here, I'll show you. That is the before, and that is the after. So, so cool. cool. Yeah. Good awesome. job, man. That was fantastic. Love it, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, I love that. I love, I love. again, I love just seeing how each one of you guys are bringing something different to the game. It's, it's so fun to see. So amazing, amazing shots, you guys. All right. We got two shot, two photos left. You guys still down? Everyone still in? Sure. You guys ready to rock and roll? Yeah. So let's let's, let's go. Let's go to the next image. Um, and uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna let one of you guys pull it up. Who, who wants to share first? Is it Umar's or is it the environmental one? It's uh, the the one on the pier. Lazat. Lazat. Yeah. Let's actually let's let's actually end with this one, you guys. And, and I'll give you guys a few extra minutes in case you need to bring this one in Photoshop. Because um, we, we've already Oh, gone. no. Keep it to one. <laughs> no. No, Lightroom. Lightroom no, we only. All, we all decided Lightroom. You keep it that way. All right. I, I, hey, I'm, I'm trying to make it easier for you guys. <laughs> you, you guys, if you want to keep you want to rock the right. So let's do this. Let's. Uh, I'm going to give you guys four minutes on this one because I think it is a little bit more complicated. Um, okay. And I it, we're at about a, an hour 15. So that's why I, I, even though we're having a ton of fun, I don't want to make these too, too long on everybody. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go four minutes. You guys ready to rock and roll? Uh, yeah, I, yeah. so you know what, actually this time I'm going to bounce between each one of you. So every about every 30, 45 seconds, I'm going to have one unshare and the next one share. So Marlies, let's start with you. I'll have you start sharing first. All right. And go ahead guys. Ooh. That's beautiful. All right. 
So we're looking at Marlisa's screen here. Profile corrections. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. So this is from Lazat Alardi. Uh, the last shot. Let's see. Who, who did we not mention? Who it was? It was Allison McCafferty. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, I just want to make sure. We'll we'll make sure when we post these in the community that we give you guys uh, put the photographers' names there as well. Um, this one is uh, like I said, it's a little bit more complicated in that we have uh, you know uh, lines. We got something that needs to be cloned out. Which if you guys can pull this off in Lightroom, I'll be very impressed. I feel like Chad could. Chad's like the awesome at cloning stuff out. Yeah. So I have Marley's... faith. I believe in you, Chad. I don't know. Four minutes. I know. Four minutes is tight. I'm trying. Gosh. If I can well, pull off just that in four minutes, I'll be happy. That's what I'm saying. We got this, guys. Don't don't doubt yourselves. You got this. Got this. Positivity. My friends. All right. So Marlise, I, I love what you're doing. I can see it there. It's amazing. You're getting in there and getting rid of that stand. Let's go ahead and have you unshare your screen. Okay. And Chad, can I have you share yours? Yep. One second. Mm -hmm. All right. I just want to try to slow you down. I see that. All right, so this is the overall what I've got so far. I pulled down those highlights, brought up the sky, and now I'm going going to yeah. town on this stand. Every time yeah. I share screen, my computer bogs down though, so give me just a second. Yeah, no it's problem. not just you, it's everyone. No excuses. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. Nye. Actually, speaking of everyone, well, I'll let you I'll let you unshare and I'll jump over to somebody else right now. Okay. All right. As long as we get rid of that mosquito that's Carol Baskins, I hear. All right. <laughs> Awesome, thank you. And let's jump over to Tanya. Can we see your screen, Tanya? Yeah. As you guys are doing that, I'm just gonna bring up some of the comments. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> here, here's a uh, compliment from Pi here for you guys. Uh, he says, uh, <clears throat> Pi Jersa says, this is the best thing I've seen all quarantine. So thank you so much, Magmod, for putting this on. Amazing to see how you're all editing and seeing the images. It really is super cool to see you guys, all the different takes on these. And every single one, it's not like one is 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 bad. They're all amazing edits. They all turn out really nice. So um, mm -hmm. I love it. Tanya, thank you so much for sharing where you're at. Let's jump over to Maria. Maria, can you share your screen as well? Well, Tanya, unshare. All right. All right, Sharon. Sorry, I got a, I got a lot of a lot of dogs happening over here. No problem. So, Ooh, you're almost finished. I am, and it's a little scary. What's our time? Uh, oh, I'm yeah, sorry. what's our time? Uh, you guys have 45 seconds. What? 45 seconds? Holy shit, that's not enough time. If, if you if you guys all vote, then no, you I'm just kidding. We got it. It's all right. It's all right. Stay with the rules. All right, yes, all right. We're gonna stick I like it. Rules. We're, we're being players. Maria, Maria, you can unshare yours. All right, unsharing. Okay, you guys got 28, 25 seconds left. 25 seconds. Yep. All right, I'm just going to jump over, see if there's any comments I'm missing. Um, <laughs> Jesse Rinka says in the last image, uh, everyone gets four minutes, but Chad gets 22 years. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. I think he's referring to Joe Exotic there. Uh, that was time. <laughs> Don says, you're all making me want to throw my presets away and start over. Uh, super excited for this last edit. I just did a photo like this. Awesome. All right. Your time is up, you guys. Boom. All right. Hands up. You guys ready to show this last image? Oh, Maria's got oh. Look, oh, Maria's got oh. help. Oh, what did she have? No, no, that's my coworker. She's a vet tech. I swear. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? She just came over. I swear, we're not cheating. <laughs> All right. We do have white claws. This is sponsored by white claws. That white claws. <laughs> <laughs> the mango flavor. The only way to go. The mango yeah. flavor. I love it. All right. So, uh, in fact, Maria, let's start with you. All right. All right. So let me just get the screen sharing. So, so All right. as I was saying, we'll, we'll make this the last image, you guys. So uh, any any last bit of trash talking, this is your time to bring it. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's kind of it's kind of mean to trash talk the person's image, but hey, it's fun anyways. All right, Maria, let's hear it. 
So I started with my base, uh, my base preset, and it, I call it wedding color. I use it for everything. I don't know why I named it that way. Sorry. Um, and then I upped the clarity a bit. Um, I upped the uh, dehazing too, just to uh, bring a little bit more contrast. Um, I have the vibrance up a little bit. Took down the exposure because the bride and groom are very, very, very highlighted. So um, I wanted to darken everything, make them pop, have the sky pop. Um, I put a little pinks in, but kept it nice and orangey because uh, I like the orange. So it's being a little bit like that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, Appreciate and I cloned out the um, the light stand. That's, you oh, know. Yeah. Okay. And, okay. And so it, this it, is my before. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. No, that was perfect. I was just going to say I, the show before and after. And then I also just want to make sure that everybody knows that's watching this. That again, they only did this in Lightroom. So everything was done in Lightroom. In four awesome. minutes. In, in four, four minutes. minutes. Four minutes. In Lightroom in four minutes. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Maria. Thank All you. right. Who wants, no who wants to go next? I'm going to let you I guys can. choose this time. All right, Joe. I'll, I'll go. Let's do this. Screen share. <laughs> Are you seeing it? Nice. Uh, yep. It's All right. Now. So again, uh, didn't mess with the exposure too too much there, um, but just did a lot of uh, a lot of brushing. I brushed in some magentas into the sky. I did a uh, um, uh, radial filter, added some blues into the water. Just cleaned out that uh, light stand that was there. I would have spent a little bit more time on it if I would have had a little bit more time, or more likely would have brought it over to Photoshop. But um, but that's it. Added a little bit of a, a little bit of more to the sunset out there. Mm -hmm. um yeah that's that's it that was pretty straightforward beautiful photo did you add some clarity to the water i did so uh, essentially i added um a gradual filter up to that horizon line and then i erased the blue and the clarity off of the couple it looks like a painting the way that you yeah that, that is freaking awesome man yeah. so here's Love before it. here's after Nice. Very this nice. is such a great one to end on. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Jared. Appreciate that. You're awesome. Welcome. All right. Who wants to go next? We got Tanya, we got Chad, and Marlies. Um, I'll go next. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Let's bring it, Chad. All right. So, once again, we added some sardine oil sauce and spruce spruced up those colors a little bit. I went for kind of a uh, vivid sunset natural look. I uh, cloned out the light stand. Also cloned out all these little tiny highlights that were on the horizon. Um, burned down the highlights of the dock right in this area and brought down a gradual filter on both the water and the sky up here to burn it down just a little bit and kind of do a little bit of a, a white balance shift on those. I love it. Um, hey, Chad. Chad, just, just redo. Yeah. <laughs> I redo. Hey, Chad, just because a, a number of you have I've mentioned the gradual filter, would you mind just showing people on Lightroom where that is? Uh, there you go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So that little rectangular box right here, and I'll show you. This is what this is what I'm doing. Basically, all I did was a little bit of a burn here on the sky, as you can see over the right hand side, and then on the bottom, I actually did a little bit of something similar to Jared, uh, where I brought down the white balance again, like I said, and uh, brought down the exposure and also up the clarity just a hair. Um, if I had more time, I would have done something kind of similar to what Jared did and go over all the whole water. But uh, that was literally the last thing I did with those two. So, uh, I mean, I was able to do it. Why weren't you? <laughs> because I was too busy taking out highlights that you didn't take out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I Jared, I was I was hoping you were gonna pick up on that when he's like, if I had more than four minutes, it's like well, Jared did it. No. That was, that was awesome. All right, thank you, Chad. Appreciate that, man. Did you want to show before and after real quick? Yeah. So spinning wheel of death. Hold on. There we go. Before and after, and then I'll show you guys the full the full before with the crop so obviously we cropped in yeah i i think uh, all of you cropped in basically didn't you all of you cropped out the, the yeah. assistant there yeah yeah because of the time but tanya didn't so let's see what she got Ooh. oh tanya Ooh. all right my, my clone stamp is not not great <laughs> all right well, well let's yeah, let's see it tanya all right. let's have a look so jared our uh, chat i'm gonna have you uns there we go yep. share yours perfect don't judge too hard. All right, let's see it, Tanya. Ooh. 
All right, hey. girlfriend. I Not too shabby. No, oh, there may be some trees up in the sky here that aren't, uh, <laughs> you know, the bestest. But uh, here's my before and my after. Used Amarone, um, brought down the sky. Um, her gr- her dress was kind of green, so I brought in some magenta. Tried to burn down the dock like everyone else did, and then uh, brought in some more yellows to accentuate the, the color of the sky. Nice. Nice, I love it. Yeah, I, you were uh, you were going for uh, the home run, trying to get rid of her because that's that's a hard edit, especially in light. Yeah, um, tried. So, All I, right. I, I I salute you. Good job. Excellent. And I think last, but certainly not least, Carol Baskin. Awesome. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Yep. So. Hold on. I don't even remember what I did. I was so stressed about cloning out the light stand and then I ended up just cropping in so I didn't have to worry about the assistant. Um, I added a punch brush to the sky. I added a gradient filter to the water um, just to help bring that up a little bit. I was really struggling also with getting their skin tones and her dress tones correct. That's something that's super important to me. Um, but I definitely started with a V-Flow. I started with another V-Flow um, preset. I think I used one of the flash ones. Uh, and I think that's it. Yeah. I definitely would have taken it into Photoshop like everybody else just to fix the hand. But, um, I love that, that Joe exotic cloned out the little lights in the background. That's something I wish I had done too, but yeah, here sure. is the before right here. I'll do that. Well, well, I am the edit king. There's the before and there's the after. Awesome. Thank you so much. Marcus. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful, guys. Let's get you all back on camera here. We'll uh, bring you all up. Guys, that was uh, a ton of fun. I, I enjoyed seeing all your edits. Whoops, I just lost everybody. Hold on one second. Got to bring everybody back in here. Um, I enjoyed seeing all your edits. Like I said, for those who are watching and wondering if we're going to be able to see these up close, uh, we will. I'll have you guys uh, just export those and send them to me. Um, in fact, you know, you know, what'd be kind of fun is what if we, uh, we just post them and have everybody comment, you know, which one they, they like without, well, I, I, I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to like- thread. I'm going to open the threads. I'm gonna let you guys post your photos. Okay. That's would cool. you like us to, to post, uh, like the presets and stuff we, we use to just kind of help the community know what we were doing or, um, I don't, I don't think it's absolutely necessary to do all that. Cause I don't want to, that's a lot of work for you guys to go back and do all video that. If they want to find out. There you go. Exactly. And I was going to say, if, if you guys, if you hit up these people, if you're interested in those presets, some of them, I know uh, a few of you guys do have different coupons and things. So, uh, feel free to hit these people up, uh, either via messaging or Instagram and, and they might have a coupon or two they can get out to you. Um, yeah. I, I would hate for you guys to just all of a sudden yell out your coupon codes and, and, uh, <laughs> be a total mess. <laughs> But whichever character just you like don't the best. forget don't forget who gave you the gave you the show gave you an <laughs> awesome song <laughs> that's true your halftime show <laughs> no um hey this has been a lot of fun i i super appreciate it uh you guys were amazing and uh truly your your skills showed in in more ways than one it was a lot of fun to watch and, <laughs> and listen to even joe so um, is there, I guess just to end this guys, I just want to ask, uh, and, and again, I didn't ask you guys this beforehand, so it's going to put you on the spot just a little bit, but if there was one tip that you would give photographers on editing, whether that be a Lightroom tip, a shortcut, a mind, something to think in their mind, what would you say would be your favorite tip? And it, and it might be something common, but maybe just something that people could pick up on if they're watching this and they're like, man, I wish I could edit like that. Go ahead, Marlise. Yeah. Uh, so edit, I mean, especially if it's a portfolio piece or something that's really going to be important to you, edit the photo, don't share it, walk away from it, spend a good, at least half an hour, not looking at it and come back to it and look at it with a fresh pair of eyes. Because I found that oftentimes I'll come back and be like, what was I thinking? I'm so glad I didn't share that anywhere and then fix the edit. And it's usually just coming back. So we tend to go a little too far and it's oftentimes better to go away, come back with fresh eyes and then, you know, bring it back a little bit. Can I add to that too? Yeah, go ahead, Maria. I 
I do that too. And I also, what helps me is I'll ask like my family and friends that are around that aren't a photographer and that have no idea how to edit because not only are we shooting for us, but we're also shooting for people that have no idea what photography is and how we edit and all that stuff. So when we get their opinion in my it, personally, in my opinion, it helps out because I'm, I'm getting a fresh set that has no idea. And that kind of is giving, it's giving me more confidence. Like, okay, I'm overthinking this because I know all of these things and I know what I can pick out and see in each image, but they don't. So it's yeah. easier in my opinion, it's just having somebody that has no idea. It just helps out immensely. I love that. Tanya, did you, thank you for sharing that. Tanya, do you have your hand up? Oh no, they covered the the points. That's awesome. I love that. Was there okay? So so any other tips or anything, Jared? It looks like you're about to say something. Yeah, I was just gonna say, you know, don't be afraid to use the brushing tools and the radial tools and 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 those type of things. Those are a huge element to Lightroom. And so, of course, you have your localized adjustments that are incredibly important. But when you want to take your photo to the next level, oftentimes it's gonna require that 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 local adjustment here and there. So just yeah. make sure that you're familiar with all of those tools. Yeah. You know, and look up um on oh, go ahead, Trevor. No, please. Joe, go. <laughs> I was going to say, go, uh, just uh, what Jared was saying. Look into the uh, when you when you're learning about the brushes. Look into the range mask tool too. That's an awesome mm -hmm. one to learn. Um, but I mean, one of my tips um, is like when you're editing, flip your image. There's a if you're on Mac, do Command bracket or Control bracket. I think on PC, I like to flip my image like all the way around and see where my eyes go and make sure I didn't miss anything. So I'm talking like highlights, uh, distractions, making sure your eyes are kind of going to where the subject matter is. So that's uh that's one of my little tricks. I love that. That's a great trick. I the, I'll, go ahead, Jared. I was just going to say, for this export, Trevor, are we supposed to be finishing these edits or just export them exactly no. how they stand? I, I, oh. Yeah, you got to export them as they are. Okay. I'm looking at him and I'm going, oh. <laughs> <There's> like, <laughs> oh, oh just, that's, just wait. That's what I was doing when I was looking at yours, too. Yeah, oh. right. <laughs> <laughs> just wait when you guys we walk away. It's back with the video, Jared. What's that? We're going to cross-reference back with the video just to oh, make Oh, please sure. do. Please do. <laughs> yeah. Along with Marlise's tip, you guys are going to come back 30 minutes later and you'll be like, what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I, you know, one thing that's really helped me, guys, that I, I like to do is I have my laptop um, up and then I have a, a separate keyboard and a mouse. And I, I have the mouse uh, hovered over the white balance slider. So like where the mm -hmm. number is. And then I, what I do is the keyboard, my plus minus on the keyboard is uh is my exposure so that changes my exposure uh up or down yeah. the, two, the two changes i do the most are my exposure and my white balance and i try to nail it both in camera but i typically those are the two that i change the most so my plus minus on my keyboard is my exposure and then my uh arrow up and down is my white balance and if i hold shift it, it incrementally goes up even more right so i'm just mm -hmm. shift up and down plus or minus shift minus shift plus shift up and down and i'm just going and then next image and then command option v if i want to copy what i just did to the next image um, so those are, those are some of the things that I like to do that are just really helpful. Um, again, guys, thank you so much for taking your time today. I know it's a Friday. It's, uh, you guys took a little over an hour and a half, actually almost two hours with us just hanging out. And also just to everybody that's been watching, it's been so much fun just reading the comments, uh, on the YouTube, uh, and on the different, uh, Facebook channels as I've been able to jump in them and, and see. So appreciate all you guys. If you guys are enjoying this and you had a good time and you want us to do this continually, let us know. Uh, I don't know. I think YouTube people say hit the like button, subscribe, whatever it is. Uh, but let us know if it's something you want to continue doing. And, and, and if nothing else, at least we can have Joe Exotic come back and sing to us some more. Is that right, Joe? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love that hair. Um, but again, sincerely, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, if you're in the Magmon community, uh, this week our challenge was Rembrandt Light. So have some fun with that today if you haven't already done that. Uh, if you're not in the Magmon community, come join us. Just search Facebook Magmon community. And again, check out these amazing photographers, Jared Gant. Uh, we got Tanya Prada, Maria Sinaradsky, uh, Chad Winstead, otherwise known as Chad Exotic, and Marlies Hartman, uh, Carol Baskin. So appreciate you guys all again being here. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Yeah. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Bye. All right. Let's see if I...